You're better off ignoring manifestation entirely if you want to attain your goals. Despite this, people are manifesting their ideal lives on social media with every swipe. Should we rely on these manifestation techniques? Hello and welcome to Luxio. Today we're touching a quite controversial topic. By the end of this video, you'll understand why this is a sign that we're approaching a financial crisis. But before we begin, tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell to see more of our upcoming videos. The secret of the law of attraction, or the power of positive thought, as well as the thing can become rich movement, has been rebranded as manifestation. It all operates in the same way. You close your eyes, visualize the good things you want in life in your mind's eye, send out metaphysical signals to the universe, and then sit back and wait for it to manifest. It's no surprise that weaker people fall for manifestation because it's hitting huge numbers on YouTube as well. The draw is undeniable, low effort, huge reward. And the common counter-argument is this, but it's worth a go. It's free and I can do it whenever I want. That's where your point of view clashes with academic studies that show the opposite. Gabriel Odin, a professor of psychology at New York University and the University of Hamburg, conducted a long-term study on manifestation across diverse age groups, regions, and cultures with obvious results. It didn't help to fantasize about pleasant outcomes. It actually made it more difficult for people to achieve their goals. Those who were actively manifesting weight loss dropped less weight than those who were not manifesting weight loss. People who were visualizing more money actually saw less money flow in than others who did nothing. This is because when you think you've already gotten what you desire, the chemistry in your brain changes. You're not as eager to pursue it as the others. You're actually sabotaging your own chances of a success. We didn't mean to break your bubble, but numbers are more reliable than wishful thinking in the long run. Even if you don't want to hear it, we'll tell you the terrible truth. The charm of such movements will never fade. People seek the easy way out. They want to rationalize their way to a better situation with less effort. To erase roadblocks from your life, tap into the energy of the cosmos. There are also paid publications that describe names of persons who offer such services, but all these people are doing is manifesting their own lives at your expense. However, there's more. When the gold rush began, you didn't get rich by discovering gold. You became rich by selling shovels and pickaxes to those looking for it. Well, there's this higher tier in the manifestation scam world where you can become a manifestation queen for $12,500. If you act quickly, you can even get a discount. They promise you, and we're not kidding, life, business, and bank account in exchange for that type of money. Others, on the other hand, take a different approach guaranteeing you a six-figure payday if you just learn the scam for them. Last but not the least, we've saved the best for last. Did you know you may access your best life by tapping your forehead or palm? Brad Yates will demonstrate how he has a YouTube channel where he taps various parts of his body based on what you want to attract. So, how is all of this acceptable? Is this life coaching even legal? It's one of the few unregulated fields left, so it's no surprise that it's increasing at a rate of more than 50% over a year. The truth is that becoming a life coach does not require a certification. It's as simple as declaring it and that's it. You work as a life coach. Nowadays, everyone is a life coach. Everyone is supporting others in manifesting. But what is that you have against folks selling the dream to others? What harm does it do other than deprive some gullible people of their hard-earned cash? Investors in the financial market seek for macro patterns and cyclical tendencies, and the previous century has been distinguished by two unique financial events. The Great Depression was the first, and the financial meltdown of 2000. 
2007 was the second. Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich was published in 1937, and The Secret was published in 2006. These books aren't to blame for the depression or the financial catastrophe, but they are a reflection of where the culture was at the time. Because of the background and the promise of change, these are all-time bestsellers. The emergence of mainstream groups that promise instant gratification indicates that society is stuck. The public's faith in the country is steadily eroding. People no longer see a clear path to success, so they turn to anything that promises them a way out. This is usually always followed by a reset in the past. A society thrives on creativity and disciplined work as well as its ability to actually generate things of value, which is frequently enabled by technological innovations. Nothing around you just appeared. It was sourced, built, processed, and supplied to you by individuals who got to work rather than waiting for things to happen. You won't be able to attract manifest or magnetize the results of work you haven't done. No matter how badly you want a six-pack, you're not going to get one if you eat pizza every day and don't exercise. Work is progressed as an antidote to a manifestation mindset. See a professional, not someone who claims to be one, to work on your mental health. Learn about nutrition and hire a gym trainer to help you improve your physical fitness. Improve your working life by learning skills that will allow you to add value to the marketplace. However, Mainstream society does not present this as a viable option. Georgina, Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend, was given a reality program by Netflix. She used to live in the lower middle class until Cristiano Ronaldo saw her and offered her everything she ever desired. There are countless reality shows featuring the wives of athletes, rappers, doctors, and other celebrities, with the Kardashian family at the top of the pyramid. Kim and Kylie are both multi-billionaires. They have the world's largest fan base, and we all know how it all began. People are looking at these programs aspirationally as a result of media and culture. If only someone like Cristiano Ronaldo could track me down and hand me everything or any spinoff that matches their plans. This has harmed a generation and is still doing so. Stop hunting for shortcuts because you'll be wasting your time and money. The only true form of self-help is when you help yourself by improving minor parts of your life until everything in it improves. Don't put your life in the hands of the universe. Instead, make a commitment to take action. We believe that the real secret to manifestation is by setting clear goals, visualizing them into fruition, and taking all the necessary actions by working hard. Believe that it will happen and believe that you can do it. What are your thoughts about manifestation techniques? Let's have a conversation in the comments. Thank you for sticking around and reaching the end of the video. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again next time.